Hi Chris, we're at the Avenue Stadium, we've just got our first away win of the season against Dorchester Town. How are you feeling? For the moon, obviously. Uh, it's a really, really, really good win uh, for us and uh, not many would have had us down to win. Um, yeah, from we, we had a game plan. We, we had a game plan on, uh, we went for it relentlessly on Thursday. We knew what shape they'd play. We had them watched um, and we changed up a little bit what we do. Uh, and it's paid off, we got the win. When you say you have a game plan, can you go into a bit more detail? Um, yeah, not too much detail, but it, we, we just changed our shape a little, tweaked our shape a little to give us a bit more going forward because uh, we did want to come here like some clubs may, some teams may come in and sit in and, and try and grind a point out. We wanted to, we wanted to attack and and we want to win. We want to win football matches. Uh, three on the bounce. We lost coming into this, so, but confidence was still high in the group. Um, morale was still high in the group because we didn't think the three games that we'd lost that we we deserved to lose all three and we deserved something to get out of them. So. Um, yeah, no, no, not massive changes, but tweaked a few things and it's paid off uh, and it's only paid off because of the boys. Fantastic from, from one to 16, fantastic performance um, from every single one of them. Subs that come on, sometimes it's difficult to come into a game like that, but um, they come on and were fantastic. Uh, last season we dropped numerous points from winning positions, so were you nervous at half time um, No, not nervous. Not nervous, just um, just conscious of getting into the boys that I didn't want that to happen. We didn't, obviously we don't want it to happen, but um, it's important not to mention that because sometimes it puts them in that mindset. Um, so yeah, we had to get the, the, the talk at half time right, and we tweaked a few things at half time. Jordan Edwards had to come off. He was a bit sore, so he had to come off. He got his goal, come off, and uh, and 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 then Nathaniel was only just turned 19, whatever it is, who he come in and was fantastic. So. Yeah, just not, not nervous, just conscious of, of, of what it could be and we knew that they'd come out and have a real go at us. And uh, young Emerson Sutton on the right today, he played the full night in the mix. How valuable was that defensive experience for him? Yeah, it'd be very, the whole, just the environment and, and playing in front of a, a, a bigger crowd than he's probably used to, that it just, that the whole environment for him, men's football, um, grinding a win out and he had a big smile on his face at the end there. He was, he was fantastic for us and, and that would go a long way into helping him get to where he wants to get. QPR have been kind enough to let us, him come in with us and let us look after him, so we thank them for that. Um, but hopefully we can repay that, that with um, giving him some valuable experience that he's like something like today he, he probably hasn't experienced before. You mentioned George and Edwards came off at half time, how is he? He's okay, he's okay. He just felt that um, he was a bit tight before the game. He was a bit tight in training on Thursday, he didn't train properly Thursday. So yeah, it was just, it's just precaution really to make sure that we, we're not ended up with a six weeks without Jordan Edwards um, and we could just leave him off for 45 minutes so he gets a rest for Wednesday. And moving on, we have games on Wednesday and Saturday this week. What are your thoughts ahead of them? Um, big games, big games, they're all big games. They're all hard games. So. Um, Two very different games that we're, that we're looking forward to. So um, we uh, we make sure we prepare right from now until until Wednesday, and then I'm not really thinking about Saturday. I'm just I'm all focused on Wednesday. So um, having a good side, they've come down. They've kept some good, really good players. They've signed some really good players, and the reports we got are they're a very very good side. So yeah, we we um, enjoy tonight and be ready and be ready to go again Wednesday. Okay, Chris, thank you. Well, Tyler, thank you.